In this video, I will teach you how to create a new file, how to open a file, how to save a file, how to print, and how to import and export files in Photoshop. To create a new file, You have to go to menu bar and in the menu bar you will find the file tab of option under file we will have a drop down menu and you can find the new option or you can just press ctrl n for shortcuts in windows that will be under File, New, or Control n in Windows. Under the New Window, you will find some options like Name. You can change whatever name, your file name, or your project will be. In this case, I will name my file Project 1. Under it, you will find Width and Height options. This Width and Height option depends on what size of the paper or canvas you will to work at. It also has its selection or options which unit of measurement you will use. We got Pixels, Inches, Centimeters, and Millimeters. Or points and pickas and columns. In this project, I will use millimeters. And in this project also, I will use an A4 size paper that has a width of 297 and has a height of 210 millimeters. This width and height will be depending on what orientation do you have. If you have a landscape orientation, you will have 297 as your width and height of 210. While if you have a portrait orientation, you will have 210 as the width and height of 297 millimeters. Below it is the resolution. The resolution will determine how many pixels are there in a specific unit of measurement. The standard resolution for an, an average eye or human eye that can see is around like 300 pixels. You may put 300 here you may also put 100 it depends to your needs later on we will talk about how the resolution affects the image size and what resolution will be needed for your specific projects in this case i will use 100 pixels per centimeter Notice that as your resolution increases, the image size here will also increase. Here I have 100 pixels per centimeters and if I will change it to 300 pixels per centimeter, notice that the image size also will increase in this side meaning the higher the resolution the higher or the bigger the file size will be in this case i will use 100 pixels per centimeter and then click ok
To open a file, all you have to do is go to the file tab and there you can find the open option or control O in Windows. That will be file, open, and Photoshop will give you options where to find your save file to open. Here, I will go to Documents, My Folder, Photoshop Files, and whichever Photoshop Save Files you want to open here. And then press the file name. Or select the file name and then click open now we will go on with how to print your file under file option you will find print and print one copy To print a file, go to File option under the menu bar, select Print or Control P in Windows, and Photoshop will ask you these basic information about your printing. If you have your printer connected with your device, either it's your desktop computer or in your laptop, you will find your printer in the printer option here. In this case, we don't have a printer connected right now in our computer. So what I will do is I will save it to PDF. Next, you will be asked how many copies you want. And then we have here the printer settings. In the print settings, you can find the orientation of your project. Here we have landscape and we have portrait. In this project, I will use landscape orientation. Below, you will find the advanced settings. And in advanced settings, you will find the paper size you will use. In this case, we will use A4 size paper. And then OK. Under the printer settings, you will find the height and the width of your project or canvas. In this case, we have 21 centimeter and a width of 29.7 centimeter. You can always change the unit of measurement into inches, centimeter, millimeter, points, or picas. In this project, I will use millimeters. And then when you are done, you can either click print and your printer will automatically print your work. Saving a file is so easy. Again, under the File tab, you will find the three options for saving. The Save, Save As, and Save a Copy.
Say for example, we want to save this work that we have done. All you have to do is to go to the File tab. Look for the Save or Control S in Windows. And then you will be asked, what file name do you want to name your file? Here, again, our file name, for example, is Project 1. You can always choose what file name and what type or format your project will be. In this case, we will select JPEG as the file format. In this left portion, we will be asked where do you want to save your file? In this case, I want to save it in the documents. And then save. You will be asked then about the quality of your project here. You can always change the quality here. That is from 1 to 10. Say for example, 5. As you can see, as you put your numbers here, the file quality will be reduced also in our file preview. You can, is, uh, you can always select with medium or high or the maximum that Photoshop that can offer you with your project. In this case, I will just say, for example, put 8 or high and then OK. Now, if we will go to our documents, you will find our save project here as JPEG. Now, I'm going to show you now how to export your file by using the save as option. Go to File, and in File option, you can find the Save As option. You can just press the shortcut keys Shift, Control, S in Windows. That is File, Save As. Under Save As, you will be notified if you want to change your file name. In this case, I will write or I will save my file name as Project 1. The default format for our work is a PSD file or the Photoshop document. Under the file format, you can always choose whichever file format you want to export it to or save it to us. In this case, we will save it as JPEG. On the left side part will be the location where you want to save your work. Let's just say, for example, we will save it in the documents. Open the folder in the documents and then click save. Upon saving, you will be notified for image options or JPEG options. Here you can find the quality of your image and the toggle which you can use to adjust, reduce, or enlarge your file size. As you can see, as you toggle down your quality of your file or work, it also decreases the 
data size or image size of your canvas or your work. In this case, I will set my quality into 8 or high. And then you click OK. Upon clicking OK, you will be saved or your file will be saved into a JPEG format and you can find it in the location where you save your work. You can now use your save file or save JPEG file and upload it in social media or even you can just print it for printed works and that is how you create new file open a file save print and export files through save as option in photoshop thank you for listening and see you in our next videos